So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the sky, uh, I mean the color of the sky in Blender. So first of all, uh, you're going to go to shading. And right now we are on material preview mode. We need to go to render preview mode. Okay. So as you can see, this is the the lighting uh, condition right now. It's quite um, dark. Uh, so we need to get rid of that. So first of all, I'm gonna go to this uh, light. You're gonna click on the light, and then you'll see this icon here object data properties for light and by default this is on point I'm going to change this to sun and when you change this to sun the strength by default is a thousand and it's too much for sun I will change this to around five and then enter so this looks good to me okay after that, I'm going to show this thing here. By default, this is object. Click here and choose world. So we're going to change the world. By default, you have these two nodes. If there's nothing, just click on new here. Okay. Uh, let's say if there's nothing, it looks like this. And you, you can click on new here. Okay. So by default, you have this gray background color, which is uh, the sky in our case. So you have these two uh, nodes already by default. Now we're going to uh, add some nodes to make uh, the sky look different. So first of all, we can see this background. Uh, I'm going to zoom out it a little bit, click on the background node, right click and duplicate and click. Okay, so we have two backgrounds. Okay, now what we need to do is as we have two background nodes, we need to mix these two background colors. So for that, we'll go to add search and we'll search for mix shader and we're going to put in between these two nodes click and it's automatically going to connect these two dots uh, i mean these two nodes so the first background node is connected to the first shader of mix shader and the second background node needs to be connected like this just click the drag and connect to the second shader okay so by default this is gray both the background nodes are gray keep it as it is don't do anything yet and now we're gonna go to oh uh, we're gonna zoom out and then go to add search I'm gonna go to uh, I'm, I'm gonna search for light path uh, click here and uh, zoom in a little bit uh, I'm gonna bring it down and we have this some uh, uh, this thing this thing called uh, ease camera ray in light path node so from that ease camera ray we're gonna connect ease camera ray to the factor of mix shader okay uh, still, it's doing nothing. Now it's going to do something when we add. Add, search, and we, we're going to add color ramp. Okay. Color ramp, I'm going to put here, down here. And then I'm going to connect this color to this color. 
color to color. Okay. So now it's uh, the color looks different. It's kind of white. So what we're going to do is this has this kind of gradient made up of black and white. Here we're going to click on the black. Okay, this point here. It's going to show black color down here. Click here. I'm going to increase the brightness and then I'm going to choose a light green. Okay, done. And then here, this point is white. Click here. It's going to show the white color. Click on the white color and I'm going to bring the brightness down. I'm going to choose a little dark, darker shade of blue. Okay. And we're going to bring these two points a little closer. Okay. And on this linear, you can uh, choose linear, but if you choose ease, that would be better. Okay. After that, we're going to do one more thing add search and gradient gradient texture click here and we're gonna add let's connect this color to this factor of color ramp now it's gonna show the gradient okay now if you play here it's gonna affect the background so after that what we're going to do is we're going to go to add search and mapping drop it here we're going to um, connect this vector to the vector on gradient texture and uh, after that what we're going to do is we're going to add one more node add search and texture coordinate click here and then connect the generated here okay generate it to this vector okay so now we can see this gradient here but it doesn't look uh, right. What you need to do is you're going to go to rotation and on Y axis, you can just, sorry, it's, yeah, Y axis, you can increase the degree or you can just click and type 90, 90, 90 degree and enter. Uh, it didn't work because we need to adjust the X coordinate okay uh, yeah just a little bit slowly okay okay I think if you sh uh, if you hold the shift key yeah it goes a little slowly little by little Okay, that's what we want. And uh, we can play with this color ramp here, okay, to make it better, look better, okay. Okay, so we have this uh, sky sky color uh, if you go back to layout and go to render preview and if you if, if we get rid of this overlay you can see this is the sky the background you can zoom in okay zoom in and if you turn it around you see the color of the sky is blue okay you can still adjust the angle of the light 
uh, this. Okay. And maybe it's a little too near. I don't know. Uh, you can still uh, change the string to maybe three. Okay. You can uh, change the uh, roughness of this hill or mountain, whatever you call it. Let's call hill because it's green, not white. So go to roughness, just increase the roughness and yeah. So that shiny thing is gone. And yeah. This is what we need. Uh, we can also change the color of this uh, this thing here, so this land. We can make it more greenish, or you can make it blue, like water. Okay, that looks cool. Okay, so this is how it looks after changing the color of the sky. We can still go to shading and play with the, the gradient, okay? And I think it already looks good, so we shouldn't play with it too much. Okay. So this is how you can change the sky color, the color of the sky in Blender. And I hope you learned something new from this video. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.